College Algebra 3.4, finding the domain. Number five, we're going to find the domain of this rational function. The process of finding the domain of an even square root, here it's rational, is taking the polynomial out of the denominator and setting it greater than or equal to zero and solving for x. When we solve for x, we'll have the domain. So for this one, since everything's set to, to zero, I'm going to factor this. I have x plus 3, x minus 3, also all greater than or equal to 0. Now before we get started, because this is greater, we're looking for positive portions, positive portions. So when I solve this, I get x equals negative 3 and x equals positive 3. On the number line, this is negative 3 and this is positive 3. Furthermore, since this is equal, these will be solid points. And now I need to figure out which of these three sections are going to be positive. Let's test this section first. So a test point of negative 10 will test this area right here. So if I put negative 10 here, we get negative 10 plus 3 is a negative number. Negative 10 and a negative 3 is also a negative number. And a negative number times a negative number means all these answers here are positive answers. Now I'm going to use a test point um, between negative 3 and 3. Let's use 0. So 0 plus 3, that's a positive answer. 0 minus 3, that's a negative answer. So positive answers times negative answers gives us negative answers. So all the answers within here are negative. So we don't need anything here because we're looking for positive answers. Um, next, this area. I'm going to use a test point of positive 10 for this area. So 10 plus 3 is positive. 10 take away 3 is also positive. A positive answer times a positive answer means all the answers here all are positive. So this area and this area is what we need. So this area can be represented by negative infinity to negative 3 bracket. This area can be represented by bracket 3 to positive infinity. Okay. Now, number 6. Number 6, we have a rational function, but it's in the denominator. Well, again, um, the fact that we have a rational function, 9 uh, minus x squared is, is set e greater than equal to 0. But the idea that's in the denominator, we say 9 minus x squared is not equal to 0. When we combine these two concepts of being greater than or equal to, but not using the equal sign, we use the expression 9 minus x squared is greater than 0. And we start from this point right here. OK. So um, I'm going to multiply this through by negative so I can change the sign here. So this is going to become a positive x squared, a negative 9, and a less than or equal to 0. So now I'm looking for negative parts. Less than 0 means we're looking for negatives. So from this point, we'll continue to solve. Solve factor. It's not equal to 0. I have x plus 3, x minus 3, and when I solve this, I have x um, does not equal negative 3, and x does not equal positive 3, because I'm using the sign that we don't, of not equal to. Okay, now I'll put all this on the number line, negative 3 and 3. And because these are not equal to, both of these will be open circles. And I need to test each one of these areas. So I'm going to use a test point of negative 10 here, a test point of 0 here, and a test point of 10 for this area. So negative 10. So negative 10 plus 3 is a negative answer. Negative 10 and a negative 3 is a negative answer. So this area is positive. Since we're looking for negative areas, this is no good. Let's try this. Test point of 0. 0 plus 3 is positive. 0 minus 3 is negative. So a positive times a negative means the answers here are all negative. And here, test point of 10. 10 plus 3 is positive. 10 take away 3 is positive. So a positive times a positive means this area has positive answers. But we're looking for negative answers. So it's only this area right here. And that's represented by 
negative 3, open parentheses, 2, 3. This area right here. 